Hey guys, Cody with Rattlesnake Ranch here, and we get asked all the time, what is the largest rattlesnake in this collection? And uh, it is definitely this guy right here. This is our big adult male Yucatan rattlesnake. This is Crotalus Sobcon, and uh, yeah, he is a beast. Now, the thing is though, we say he's big and he's the biggest snake in here, but up until recently, we haven't been able to say what the actual numbers were. You know, how long he is, how much he weighs, um, his girth, all those details. So, um, if you guys watched our previous video with the Rattlesnake Conservancy, the level two venomous course that we just hosted here, um, after that class was over, Sean and Tiffany stayed behind. We got this guy measured, we got him weighed. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a little reveal on his length, his girth, his weight, all those numbers. So stick around, hope you enjoy watching the footage of us getting this guy in a tube and getting some pictures with him and all that. Really cool snake, love this species. Enjoy watching. All right, so as you guys can imagine, that's a lot of snake right there. And so we definitely needed all hands on deck when it came to getting him restrained and getting the measurements, having somebody film too. So again, thank you so much, Tiffany and Sean for staying behind. I know Sean was excited to do this, but yeah, it was really helpful to have the extra set of hands. You know, he's kind of a one to two person uh, snake to get restrained properly. And then, you know, the extra hands to measure, extra hands to film. We were all able to do it as a team. So good job, guys. Did it safely. Minimal stress on, on the snake. And uh, yeah, we got it done. So we were able to get him safely in a tube. Uh, Sean was able to accomplish that. But uh, yeah, it definitely took a minute and Sean got a little workout trying to get this snake in a tube. But he got it done. We got him in there. And then with Logan's help, got him on a table, and that's where we began to measure his, his length. And so Tiffany took over for that. She had a you know, loose tape measure. We basically just worked it up his body, measuring the, the curves as, as accurate as reasonably possible, and uh, eventually made it to the end of his tail, and he is 69 inches. And so this is from the snout, starting at the snout all the way down to the basal rattle segment, the living rattle segment, uh, the darker one that's at the base. And so some places like to include, you know, or specifically measure the snout vent length or SVL, um, which makes sense for things like lizards. But with snakes, I kind of like to go all the way to the tail. Um, not quite all the way to the end of the rattle though, because uh, the, you know, the rattle is not really a live part of them. So that very first segment of the rattle, the, the darker one, the basal segment, that's the one that we measured too. So in total, he was 69 inches from the snout to that basal rattle segment, just shy of six feet. I wish he was an actual six foot rattlesnake. He will hit that, he's still young, he's still growing. But uh, yeah, 69 inches, that's what he ended up being. Uh, we went ahead and measured his distance from the cloaca to the basal rattle segment, uh, which is about six inches, so if you subtract the six inches from the 69, he is 63 inches snout vent length, so it's SVL. And then, uh, so we went ahead and measured the rattle just for fun. Um, again, I don't really count it as part of their length because it's not a live part of the snake, but it ended up being three inches, which is ironic because that puts him at exactly six feet total length. So including all the way to the tip of the rattle. So. Again, I wouldn't say he's a true six foot rattlesnake because the rattle, you know, at any point a segment can break off or the whole thing can even break off. And so that's why we don't count it as a total part of their length. But if you, you personally would count that, then he's a six foot rattlesnake. So of course, you know, while we had him out, might as well measure his girth as well. And so picking what, you know, looked to be the thickest part of his body, uh, Tiffany also went ahead and measured his girth, uh, which was just shy of right at about 10 inches. So about a 10 inch girth. So he's a pretty hefty snake and he's not obese by any means. He's a healthy snake. He's young. Um, we feed him well, but not too well. And uh, yeah, so 
10 inch girth, 69 inch length. That's where we're at so far. And then of course his weight, um, which is, it's always interesting with snakes. They always seem to feel a lot heavier than they actually are. But um, yeah, we were able to get a weight on him. Now the tricky thing is he does not fit nicely in a five gallon bucket. So we took one of our big custom buckets we use for larger snakes like this and uh, we got him in there and we had like a special rope attachment we put on the lid to be able to lift this entire thing easily um, with, or at least accurately with a fishing scale. And so Logan did that and uh, we you know, got the total weight of, of him and the bucket. And then once we got that number, we set them aside and we reweighted uh, the bucket, you know, empty to see what that number was and subtract that from the total weight we got originally with him in the bucket. He was right at about eight pounds. Um, so yeah. If you had any guesses on our Instagram, we posted a story and a post. Hey, what do you guys think this snake is? We had all kinds of guesses, but uh, yeah, for those of you who guessed in or around eight pounds, you were the closest, you got it, good job. There's something else I'll mention real quick. So when we got this snake, he was probably around the four and a half, five foot range a few years ago, and he fit very comfortably in a six foot cage. Now, as you might be able to see at my feet here, you know, he's, he's taking up a lot of room in this six foot cage. So we have plans to give him a much larger cage in the near future, uh, definitely an upgrade for a couple of reasons, uh, not just to accommodate um, him better, but also right behind me here, this is his girlfriend. We have not been pairing them up because that's just, she's about five and a half feet, maybe. Um, yeah, she's not, not much smaller than him. And uh, between the two of them in a six foot cage, that's some pretty cramped conditions. We don't like that here. And so these guys are comfortable separated right now, but we plan on putting him in a custom eight foot long by four feet wide by about three feet tall um, exhibit. Uh, it'll have glass on both sides. Uh, Ella's Armacius, the guy who makes our cages, um, helps me make uh, the cages. He's gonna be custom building that to be able to support uh, two of those actually. We'll put our Mexican West Coast and the ones above it. And um, he's gonna, design and make those structurally sound and then we'll you know do our normal thing of installing the lights the vents the heat sources all that so that'll probably be another video but yeah these guys definitely deserve a cage upgrade they will be getting it soon and I uh, just thought I would mention that in conclusion our Yucatan rattlesnake the currently the largest rattlesnake in this collection um, he is just shy of six feet at 69 inches He's about eight pounds in weight and uh, about 10 inches at his thickest point in his body. So big venomous snake. And uh, like I said, we've got uh, lots of other snakes here. Our collection is relatively young. And so um, we've got other snakes in here that could very well pass him up in the near future. So our Eastern Diamondbacks, our Mex Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes, you know, all these guys have the potential to get his size or maybe even surpass it. So hopefully years from now, we'll do another video just like this and um, we'll have other bigger snakes to, to showcase. So that's what we have for you guys today. Um, again, hope you enjoy watching these videos. Thank you guys so much for the feedback you've been giving us. Thank you for the likes, the subscriptions, the shares, all that. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna keep cranking these out, try and do something different every time. So yeah, keep an eye out for next week's video. We'll catch you then.